there are several parameters that we look at whenever we're looking at acid-base balance, and they are in front of you. The pH. The pH determines whether or not a, the blood is normal or if it is acidic or if it's alkaline. The PCO, which we often refer to as the respiratory component of acid base, is going to be another parameter that we look at whenever we have an ABG report. And you might be wondering, what does the P stand for? The lowercase p is the pressure of carbon dioxide in arterial blood. So the P stands for partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the blood. And the range is anywhere from 35 to 45. So notice it's a lot easier to remember. Normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45. PCO2 is 35 to 45. See, it is a lot easier to remember those numbers. And then, of course, the PO2 or the partial pressure of oxygen, which is anywhere from 80 to 100. The O2 saturation or the amount of oxygen that hemoglobin packs is anywhere from 95 to 100. And the bicarb is anywhere from 22 to 26 MEQs per liter. And base excess which is plus two or minus two. To analyze ABGs, we don't need the rest. So let's just focus on the pH, the PCO2, and the bicarb. Because in here, we're evaluating the respiratory status of the patient. The bicarb, the metabolic component of this particular acid base. And then of course, the pH, which is the amount of hydrogen that is present in the blood. Obviously, when we look at the PO2, we either are going to be concerned be with a decrease in PO2. So if it's going to be less than 80, we would call that hypoxemia. We were going to find out why the patient is having a hypoxic episode. The other one is O2 saturation. O2 saturation is not the same as the PO2. It just means to say that it is the amount of oxygen that is packed in hemoglobin. So if you're looking at a patient and the O2 saturation is going to be 98, does it mean that the patient is doing okay? All right, in general, it is, right? But is it possible that this patient is deteriorating. Supposing now that the patient's hemoglobin, that's the one that contains, the, can pack the oxygen, is only six. Well, if all the six grams of hemoglobin is packed with oxygen, it's gonna be 100%. However, we know that this hemoglobin of six is not gonna be enough to distribute oxygen to all parts of the body. So from now on, what I want you to remember is that we should not be blinded by the fact that when we look at an O2 saturation, if it is okay, we cannot assume that the patient is okay. You can have an O2 saturation of 100%, but the patient is hypoxic. And the last one is going to be your base access. And the base access is something that is going to be important to calculate the amount of sodium bicarbonate that a patient will require if they require it. The main things though, that you will be involved in as a nurse is going to be looking at the pH, the PCO2, and the bicarbonate in order to come up with a diagnosis.